good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my eighth week lock update with my braid locks. So let's jump right into it. Wow, can we believe I am eight weeks in, i.e. two months into my braid lock journey. Like this is so, so, so educational like trust me like I am learning so much about braid locks in comparison to instant locks as well as two strand twist star locks like I am just like wowed now I know I've shared with you guys all about like unraveling with my braid locks like you know I told you like some of my locks was um, unraveling up to about the halfway mark but guys like just after my recent wash day i realized another lock is this the right one i think this yes look at this one here this you see this this lock unraveled almost all the way like what the heck like I didn't know that that is actually possible especially if you have four type hair like I've always said like you know I believed having four type hair and starting with braid locks would be much more um you, not much more but you know like you wouldn't experience any unraveling because like people who have a more softer curl softer curl pattern looser curl pattern and softer hair texture always thought that they would experience this what I'm experiencing but you know it goes to show even if you have four type hair your braids can unravel all the way so oh my days now i'm not planning on um reinstalling it i'm just gonna leave it and just see what happens in the next month when i update you guys well not the next month but you know the next two weeks to the following two weeks you know what i'm trying to say until the end of my lock journey but that was a big big surprise to me that you know my locks are still unraveling like are you serious <laughs> But also what I have noticed as well is the more I wash my hair is the more fluffy they look and the more chunkier they look. Now, you guys will also see, well, you haven't seen it yet. I'm going to show you what's been happening with my braids. Let's have a look. Yes, 
That, my dear, is buildup. And this buildup that you're looking at here is actually product buildup. And that is something I really want to talk about is um, product buildup because you know I always talk about environmental buildup and that is what most people see in their locks. And some people, when I was along my lock journey and when Jaden was along his first lock journey, they used to say to me how, you know, all this buildup in his locks is due to product. And I was trying to explain to them that it is not product because I did not use products on Jaden's locks. And when I did use products on my locks, I was seeing build up like in the shaft of my, the, the shaft, well, the shaft, yeah, the length of my locks, right? And wasn't necessarily at the root. Now, the reason why you're seeing so much build up at the root is because I was putting product upon product upon product. Now, that is the only way I could see product build up occurring. Like, if you're continuously layering your hair with products without washing out the previous products that was on your um, hair. So, as you can see, I had product build up, and that was gel. Like. I like to slick my hair back, um, you know, to give that like, nice, sleek look. And um, for that week, I was just like, you know, topping up my hair, like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna pop out. Let me just quickly lay it down or whatever. And then when it came time to wash my hair, I was like, what the heck is going on here? And I wanted to share it with you guys so that you can understand what product builder is and what is the cause of product buildup. So I know a lot of people out there are very skeptical of using products like holding products on their um, hair if they're gonna do a retwist or what, but don't stress about that particular, like using that product on your hair. The only time you should worry is if you are going to retwist your hair again without washing your hair first. So that is the only time I can see product buildup occurring. Now, if you're washing your hair, clearly you're washing out the product and you can reapply the product. Um, you know, the, the holding gel that you're gonna use to retighten or retwist your hair. But don't be scared of using products on your hair. The only time you should worry is if you are not rinsing out, not rinsing, but not washing out the product in your hair before putting more product into your hair. Also, another interesting thing I am learning about my locks along my um, eighth week or two months is the fact of my ends, how they curl and they twirl and they're so sweet and cute. Look at this. Do you see that? The way how it curls. So my locks at the end actually look like a comb coil, like the way how it just coils around each other. And this was when I told you guys, I think what week was it? Was it week three or week four? I was like, I'm just not going to um, plait down the ends. I'm just gonna leave them. And I'm so happy that I see it because, well, did, well, left it. <laughs> because now I can see what my hair actually does. It just curls like a little coil. And you know, it's just, it's cute. It's cute. Look at that. Okay guys, so that's it for today. It was a very quick video, but I hope you guys found it very insightful and very informative, especially when it comes to build up, because you know, I'm always talking about build up in locks. Now, along my journeys, like all of them combined, and even doing my son's hair, I am realizing that buildup is unavoidable. But you can minimize the chances of it becoming embedded in your locks and then it looks nasty. So you have to stay on top of your um, maintenance routine to make sure that build up don't live here okay <laughs> so i hope that this video was very insightful for you and you can take 
stuff from this and have a phenomenal luck journey. So remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one. And if you found today's video very helpful, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5 p.m., we will be right back here with another video.